Dolly friends and welcome back to the channel. I am Dory and this is Dory's Dollies and today I have some happy mail as well as some other uh, packages that I'm going to do some comparison with and try on some of uh, some of the items on with my dolls. Let's just say that and uh, this is a package. It is a happy Mary mail package from my friend Ayla Avar over at Ayla Avar. I'm going to have a link to her channel in my description box and I am going to just pop this open but since the addresses and everything are on this side I'm just going to pause and come right back okay and we are back and it seems that Ayla has sent me some mini verse make it mini food which I love I used some of these in my um, December Christmas theme for my um, Barbie advent which was really nice and this is awesome because this is the Easter set and I'm an Easter baby so I am digging that thank you Ayla for that one and oh my god I love you my friend this is the new Valentine one. Oh my gosh Ayla 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 I love you so you know where you know where my heart is and here's another one so that is totally awesome and then let's see oh i have a note hidden in here let's see oh wow here is my gift to you as a cure for the winter blahs i hope it helps the sweatshirt in black bag was not made by me nor was it a rub on but i did pick it out and put it on this shirt just for you what a sweetheart i do not know if this is waterproof so don't let your dollies get it dirty haha ha. the cookies and newspapers are from my froggy stuff printables and i think they make great props i hope you and andrew are well thank you and love you lots ayla and ron what a pack of sweethearts i love them so and look at this so let me see if that there's the printables there's the newspaper I am going to try to pull out some of these goodies, and man, oh man, are these a lot of cool goodies. Wow, wow, wow. Ayla, you are so sweet, my friend. So we've got a cute little pair of combat boots here, and I'm thinking these are pretty much going to fit um, my Mitty Blythes, for sure, for sure, for sure, and any of my other smaller dolls. I have no reason about that at all, and I think they'll even fit my Skipper, too. I've got plenty of dolls, and they're split in the back, so that should be easy. I'll have no problem getting those on my little dolls. And just for good measure, we've got a pair in white. I know these are definitely going to fit Babs, especially a flat-footed Babs. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Love those. And, man, I love tinies. Look at this teeny tiny little evening clutch. I don't know if it opens, but... Wow, that is really, really freaking cool. I love that. That's great for a midi Blythe as well as a regular Neo size Blythe. And then she's got some delicious gingerbread cookies here and holiday cookies. And I love those because those will look great on a tray. And then I definitely need periodicals for my dolls. I don't have any. And with these vintage Ken uh, on the cover, I love that in regular Fashionista Kens. These are incredible. I appreciate and thank you so much for those. Love, love, love those. My goodness, Ayla. I am hoping that you're going to like yours too. Um, yours is a little different. And I'm hoping, that, uh, I'm hoping that you'll be pleased by it. And here's a cool little messenger bag. I love the messenger bag. And this messenger bag will go great with anybody. I mean, any size doll. Could wear that for sure and then here is she asked me what kind of wildlife creatures i like and i am partial to all wildlife creatures so this is really cute it's a panda and that's a secret little nickname that we like to call my little siamese kitty flounder sometimes i'll just call him panda because he reminds me of a little panda bear so i love and appreciate this so very much once again this will fit barbie any one of my babs and it'll fit a blythe doll and any one of my fashion dolls, which I'm really, really happy to have that. Ayla, you are such a sweet friend. I'm going to take my time with these because, um, you know, me and the resin of these little Make It Miniverse foods um, can get a little crazy, a little, you know, I, you know, 
yeah, this, this I definitely have to take my time for. And I'm not as good as a lot of you guys. I know a lot of you guys do this live on your videos, and I give you a lot, a lot of credit. Kudos to you, because I, um, yeah, there's a lot of cursing going on when I'm making these guys, trying to squeeze out the resin, trying to make sure it doesn't run and drip all over the place. And then I'm trying to work my little UV lighting in there. And sometimes I like to, you know, put some resin in, hit it with the UV lighting and then add extra stuff just to make sure it doesn't sink to the bottom and it's a process. So I really give you guys that do these live a lot of credit. Honestly, I mean that. I sincerely, yeah. I, I've seen Ayla do these and man, she's got the patience of a saint. I honestly don't know how she does it. Okay, and with that, I had ordered and you know, Marna at Dolls Rescue is, uh, she can attest to this, I haven't really ordered from Ally Express in a hot minute because I didn't have such a good time with the last purchase that I made there. And that was, you know, I, I want to say over the summer last year. And I was a little sketched out by that. But I did go ahead and order a couple of Pop Mart blinds, which crossing my fingers, I think they're clearing customs. At least I hope they are. And they said, you know what, if you order $5 more, whatever, you'll get it in 14 days. Well, it took them 14 days just to release um, the, the packages to ship out. So I don't know how much that really worked. But I did get this one, the $5 item, faster than the other two. So that was a fun thing. And, you know, there's so many $5 items to order from there that I really wasn't sure, you know, what I was going to do. And. I didn't want to really spend more than that because I was spending quite a bit, uh, a bit on the little Pop Mart dolls. But anyway, so I got this. And this looks like it's really, I mean, unbelievable for the amount of money that I spent on this package. I bought a wig. And um, let me see. Well, let me do this in such a way that I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this because these girls are pretty tall. Maybe I'll just sit her down. I have her on a stand right here. Oh, well. We'll have to see about this. My dolls are in... They're on their stands right now, which I'm going to have to lay her down. I have my little... Um, I'm not little. I have a smart doll with me here. And I have a Laura Fina with me, which I will show you in just a moment. And a, a, another doll. But we'll, we'll look at this. I'm sorry I'm all over the place. I'm just a little excited. I cannot believe how nice this wig is that I got. I Look at this, I am really impressed. And it even has a little wig comb. <gasps> and it even has a silicone, look it. I mean, when I tell you, when I added it into the bag for five bucks, they, they didn't show, at least I didn't see that it was gonna come with a silicone cap, which is kind of sticky and that's understandable. It is silicone. You do want this to stick to your doll head so that the wig doesn't you know slide all over the place. Wow, I had no idea it was going to come with a silicone wig cap and a wig comb. So that's totally cool. And this gorgeous, gore look at that. I didn't even realize that it has a real scalp. Look at that. Man, I have to say the quality of this is right up there with my BJD wigs. Look at this wig. I mean... It is gorgeous. I, I mean, I'm a little bit in shock. I wasn't expecting this quality for $5. Come on. I spend more than that on my Smart Doll wigs. And wow, I love this carrot color. I, I'm really pleasantly surprised. I'm going to pause this for just a second. Okay, sorry about that, friends. I have my Hasbro Laura Fina, who you've seen before, but I will show um, a little bit more about her in a minute. She is a 2007-2008 doll from Hasbro. She was only around for about a year, year or so, and she had different looks. It was like you could change her eye color, her skin tone, her hair. She's a great fashion doll. And then I have my smart doll, Melody, here. She's a 2017 Melody. And I now have in this box here that also came, I'm sorry, this is like a mishmash of stuff, but with that wig, it wanted, um, and it begged for me to have different size fashion dolls to um, see and perhaps try on uh, different wigs. And what I have here 
is an Elowin Wild. Um, I know you've seen my friend Marta with this style that she got at the Blythe Con. I also know, I think Tammy Powley might have it. I'm not sure. I think my friend Irene over at Irene Huff Styles may have her. I know a lot of people do. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous doll. She is the Chasing Rainbows, Elowin Wild. I love, love, love her. She was a good deal for me, so I couldn't pass her by. She is minty mint. She's got her little shoes, her little outfit, and I am going to try, even though she's got a red wig on, let me see how close in color this one is. It could be the same color. Let me see. I'm not sure. Just a little bit different red there, but since I got this wig, I am going to try this wig on uh, my various dolls that um, have different wigs and can wear different wigs, so we'll see what they look like. Let me get out this Elowin doll and um, just for fun, I mean, you know, thank you for bearing with me and... Um, you know, hanging out with me while I check this out because I think this is just too cute not to not to see. Um, here's my beautiful Elowin. It would also be neat to see how these dolls um, oh stand up to one another. She is. I'm looking over here, so sorry. Um, comparing her to my Hasbro doll, which is 20 inches. As I said, the Smart Doll is 23 and a half, I believe. And Elowin, I think, looks to be smaller than my Laurafina for sure. But um, let me get to the wig situation here because that's really what I wanted to see. Are you going to sit here for me, girlfriend? Let's see. Sorry that you can't cross your legs so nicely there because... Um, You've got a little peekaboo situation, but that's okay. So I think I'm going to try this wig on my um, Laura Fina doll first. And I'm sorry if I'm not really in frame here, but you want to put your wig inside out. I'm going to grab my Laura Fina doll here. And I, I'm really sad that you cannot see her in her entirety, but... I like the way the articulation on her knee is as opposed to um, the toner little bend there. I, and um, also, well, let me put Elowin here for a moment. Sorry for that. Also, try to cover yourself there, girlfriend. Um, also, she's articulated at the ankle, which is really, really cool. Let me see here. I don't want to hurt her shoe because she can wear... Um, flat shoes or uh, high heel feet and that's because she also let me see if I can move this she's articulated at the toe which I think is really super cool that Hasbro did that and these high heel shoes they made so many fashions for um, Laura Fina I mean she was such a well-made doll it just saddens me and at one point she was really reasonable in terms of price but you know, her price, I guess, like anything fluctuates. So, and, um, oh, sorry about that. She's also got a glastic eye. I've got Laura Fina's with blue eyes and brown eyes, but she's just lovely. She's also, they already came with pierced ears. She's got beautiful head and neck articulation. She's got um, elbow articulation and arms that go out. The only thing that she doesn't um, have, like Elowin, is a, an articulated wrist. But I'm okay with that. She's she's fairly uh, lovely in terms of... She's also got this um, chest articulation there, which is really cool. And I love that. So let me try this wig on my Laura Fina. And the Laura Finas came with this really wild scalp. This wig that I have on her is one that I bought. It's, it doesn't even feel as nice as the quality as the one I just got from AliExpress. It doesn't even have a skin scalp there. But I did buy an extra um, Laura Fina cap because of the fact that they are so uh, difficult to um, 
re-wig. Like, for example, they, they're meant to re-wig. They, they come with their own wigs, but you have to pop this off, and it leaves an indentation, and it's rather odd. So I bought one, and I scalped it, and um, I just put the Velcro. So I'm not going to try to put the silicone on her because she won't need it, but we'll try this red wig on her, and guess what? It fits beautifully. It really, really does. Here she is. Let me just give her a little bit of a, a comb out here. Thank you for being so patient as I play and try these on my dolls. Um, granted, her bangs probably come down a little bit too low, but with just a little zhuzhing and finessing here, especially with the green eyes. She looks so pretty in her little green dress that I've made for her here. Um, yeah, this looks lovely on Laura Fina. I'm not mad at that at all. So for this little um, cushion for my LA Express packages to arrive early, and I find it comical that this would arrive before the original or real packages that I had purchased. Um, I'm not mad at this at all. This is really lovely. So if you ever uh, see wigs on Ally, I mean, know that they're really beautiful quality. And look at the length on that. I mean, it goes all the way past her derriere. Really nice. And this is a 20-inch doll. So that's a gorgeous, gorgeous wig. And let me try it now on my Smart Doll. Let's see if it fits my Smart Doll. I will say one thing about the Smart Dolls. They do tend to have slippery little heads. So um, this is a doll, Dallas Doll Co. wig that I have on her now. And we're going to boop, see her with her little bald head. And let's see about the silicone wig cap on her. I don't know if it's going to fit her big noggin because she does have a big head. And this silicone wig cap does tend to get little loose hair stuck on it. So... Keep that in mind. Just from being around the wigs, yeah, it's a little, it's a little tacky. But let's see here. Okay. And then once again, we are going to roll back the wig like so. If you ever have trouble with your wigs, and. These are the bangs, so I know I want those to sit right there. And the weird thing about it is, I don't think it gave me a size. Like, uh, I went to to look like for a 16, a, you know, whatever, and it, it just said, will fit, um, you know, this size doll. And man, oh man, it fits my smart doll beautifully. It didn't say medium large. It didn't say a size six. It didn't say, and for the life of me, I mean, I would have to go back and try to see which vendor it was because it wasn't even the same store that I bought my Pop Mart lights from. It was just a random weird store. But look at how cute this wig looks on my smart doll. I love this wig. I am so surprised by the quality of this wig, it's like, I don't know if it's Kanekalon or what it is, but it is just gorge. It does have some shedding, I'm not going to lie. There is shedding. Sorry about that. The camera kind of went out for a bit, um, maybe because I was yapping too much. But anyway, so it really is. It's a gorgeous wig. Like I said, there is just a wee bit of shedding, but I'm okay with that. The quality of it is such that it's very thick that I'm not going to miss the hair that is shedding from this wig. It's beautiful, like I said, all of the little extras, the comb, the uh, silicone wig cap. I mean, I don't even get that when I order from, you know, other really popular wig uh, websites. And just to see the difference between her red hair and my Elowin Wild, um, yeah, there is a little bit of a difference in red there. The Elowin, I can tell now, just looking at it, her wig is her wig size is going to be much smaller. She's much more of a petite doll than I had originally thought she was going to be. When I look at her, definitely compared to a smart doll, the smart doll is like I say, twenty three, almost twenty four inches. But then uh, let me put my Laura Fina back together here, so she's not so looking so disheveled. Um, 
Well, let's see, her girlfriend. She um, is also a lot smaller. For some reason, I thought that she would be very close in size to the Laura Fina, but no. The Elowin is much, much smaller than the Laura Fina doll for sure. So uh, anyway, I've gone on long, long enough, um, and I'm just so happy that you joined me for my happy mail, my um, beautiful surprise mail from my gorgeous friend, Ayla, and all the goodies that I, I got today. So I'm really, really happy. Thank you so much for joining us. And I think I'm going to mark this under um, Eclectic Wandering, uh, Tracy from Eclectic Wandering um, Wednesday, um, Show and Tell Wednesday, because this is like a show and tell. It's a happy mail show and tell. So I will connect uh, uh, um, Tracy from Eclectic Wandering and my friends that I tagged in this video, Irene, Ayla, and Marna at Dolls Rescued. Um, in this video as well. So you can go over and pop over and see their stuff. And wow, I am so excited about this. I thank you so much. Ayla, I mean, my love, I am going to be having a great time with those beautiful surprise balls. I love that. Thank you so very much. And uh, we'll be seeing you guys real soon. Bye.